Later in the course, we're going to see that the mean draft is a very important number in stability. When you enter a stability book, you normally use the ship's draft to extract information and to do calculations. The draft you need to use is not the forward or aft draft, but the mean draft. On your ship, when the center of flotation is at midships, the mean draft is simply the average between the forward and aft drafts, which can be read at the midship draft marks. But we've already seen how moving the position of the center of flotation can have an effect on the drafts. The mean draft is no exception. You can see that when the center of flotation is not at midships, the midship draft is going to change, and the mean draft is no longer the average of the two drafts. Instead, the mean draft is located at the center of flotation, which we call the true mean draft. And it's the true mean draft that we need to use in our stability books. Figuring out the true mean draft involves calculating a correction to apply to midships. Only then can we accurately gather information about our ship based on its drafts. The geometry around this is only slightly more complicated, but it's still pretty straightforward. First, let's exaggerate the ship's trim a little bit. The first thing to remember is that these two angles are the same. This means that this triangle and this triangle are called similar triangles and that the lengths of their sides are proportional to each other. Now if we were to draw a line here, what we get is another similar triangle, where this side is the total trim forward and aft, and this side is the length between perpendiculars. This larger triangle has the same proportions as this smaller triangle, where one side is the center of flotation's distance from midships, and the other side is the correction that we apply to our mean draft. If we want to figure out the correction, we can rearrange these proportions into a formula. Now the correction equals the center of flotation from midships divided by the length between perpendiculars times the trim. If you notice, this formula is very similar to our last trim correction, and all we've done here is to calculate what portion of the total length is from midships to the LCF. That percentage is then multiplied by either the trim or a change of trim to get the correction. Once you have your correction, you can calculate the mean draft at midships, add in the correction, and get your true mean draft. One last thing you need to keep in mind is whether the correction should be added or subtracted to the mean draft. This depends on a combination of whether the center of flotation is ahead or astern of midships, and whether the ship is trimmed by the stern or by the head. One way to keep track of all of this is to use the correct signs when you're calculating your correction. Always think of values that are aft of a midships as being positive, and values forward of a midships as being negative. If the center of flotation is aft of midships, then its distance from midships will be a positive number. If the ship is trimmed by the stern, then the value of the trim should also be considered positive. The result is a positive correction. However, if one of these values changes, let's say the ship is trimmed by the head, then the trim would be considered negative and we would end up with a correction that should be subtracted from the mean draft. Keeping close track of these positive and negative signs will save you a lot of trouble when you're doing your calculations.